sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified. So today we are at my GYN. We are going to see Dr. Rodiker. As you guys know, she had left me for a minute, but I found her. <laughs> so about to see her. Um, you guys know the situation at the ultrasound. They didn't see a heartbeat with the baby. Um, only thing they saw was a fetal pole, no yolk sac, anything. So the baby just did not develop. Um, so we're going to Dr. Rodiker today to talk about the next steps of what to do moving forward. Um, as far as like what does she recommend as you know like for this miscarriage situation um because i still haven't been bleeding it's not happening on its own so i mean it's either take the pill um that's the option or to like go and do a dnc and clean me completely out and start from from scratch but i want to see what she recommends um because at the end of the day you know she knows you know my body and things that you know, works for me um, I'm not against the pill option. I feel like, hey, I can take the pill and just do what I got to do. But if it's something that she feels like she needs to go in, then, you know, I would trust her judgment. So that's what we're doing now. My appointment is at 10. So we're here pretty early. And it's 925. Um, so we're just sitting here in the parking lot. We didn't know where we were going because her office is like in Raleigh, a little further out, more towards downtown, like the NC State area. So... Yeah, that's what we are. Oh, they have Raleigh radiology here too. Mm. Physical therapy. Wait, Raleigh? Yeah, see at the bottom. Mm. But yeah, guys. So I'll see you guys either when I get in there, I'll probably see you guys like after my appointment. We'll just talk about it. So. Yeah, I'm gonna be in surgery. Yeah, that's what we talked to Doctor Booker mm -hmm. oh, at yeah. the high risk of what to do the ultrasound. He was trying to think of who you were. He, he was trying to remember and see if he even knew you from. I don't know. Yeah, around. Yeah. Yeah, around, yeah. He he said she's, yeah, I said she's not yeah I haven't met everybody yet yeah. here in this system. So. Oh, okay. But I think I'm gonna do the DNC too as soon as possible, um, if we can. Well, yeah. let me um. My surgery scheduler here, her name is Tiffany. Mm -hmm. She, again, runs my life. That's what they do. Yes. They tell me where I'm supposed to be right. and where I'm supposed to be there. Um, but let me check with her to see kind of what the surgery schedule is like. And then we can hopefully get you in tomorrow, if not sometime early yeah. next week, maybe. I, I have a question, though. What yes, about the have. little bit of septum that's left? I would not be doing anything about it right now. Okay. And based on where the pregnancy had implanted, I don't think the septum was playing a role okay. in okay. the miscarriage. Okay. Because it looks like the pregnancy implanted kind of on the back wall. Mm -hmm. um, septum is still kind of up top a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that it implanted on that remaining part of the septum. And you don't think it would hinder moving forward either? I don't think so. Okay. And then another thing, when we were talking to Dr. Booker, he was like, well, you know, just keep trying, you know, like, don't, yeah. don't get discouraged. At least we know that the body's working. Yeah, you know. exactly. So how do you feel about us still trying? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I like for your body to have one kind of like normal menstrual cycle yeah. after a miscarriage. Mm -hmm. That shows me that the hormones are, again, cycling appropriately. Your ovaries are working appropriately and that your body has kind of healed from this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's my one kind of rule of thumb is that I want you to prove okay, that your yeah. body has recovered from this before we try again. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. At least a couple, like two months or something. Yeah. Okay, and then you're okay with prescribing the lectures all in. Absolutely. Well, I can say she only trusted you because she wasn't. So she's, yeah, those do treat me horribly. Um, I will be checking with Tiffany about okay. my schedule, and then either she or I, or I will be getting back to you today. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the big the big. Big weight. Yeah. That's why I work now. Yeah. Big I'm weight. I'm so proud of you. You're doing big things. Big girl doing yeah. big things. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Well, and I'm glad we can find you and we driving, right? Come, we, we come in to well, see I, you. I appreciate, I appreciate that. That really means a lot yeah. to me. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Let me get to work. All right. So I'm okay. good to go. You're good to go. I'm good. All right. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I know. Hopefully. Just off the way. Great. Right. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back home from the doctor. And she was so happy. To, I think Mama said she recorded a couple of clips, but she was so happy to see us. She was so so happy, and she had an opening tomorrow 
to get me in to go ahead and do the DNC procedure. So I'm gonna be doing a DNC, get everything cleaned out. So I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna vlog my journey tomorrow for you guys. So I have to be there at 10:41 a.m. The procedure don't start till 12. What 12:41? So they said it's gonna take about a, about 75 minutes for the procedure. So I probably won't get home to like four four thirty like last time, y'all. So yeah. Thank y'all for y'all prayers and well wishes for everything. Um yeah, by the time y'all see this video, like today is February the seventh, I wanna say today's February the eighth. So my procedure's on the ninth. Y'all remember last year this time I had that procedure January the fifteenth? <sighs> this is something. This is really, really something. This <laughs> is so I'm just like Lord. Um yeah so this is where we at right now everything's happening so fast um but i'm happy that i'm getting it done now and she also approved me to go ahead and start working on baby baby number two so we're gonna you know have a little moment for baby the ba first little baby lasted her you know baby lasted didn't develop and i'm okay y'all you know it is a it is a sensitive sad situation it is a sensitive sad situation but honestly i, I it's okay um, I have, I'm okay. It's almost like, you know, the situation, like, it, like the first of all, I'm just so happy that I was able to get pregnant because I have never been pregnant in my life. And just to experience that was just amazing and sharing that with you guys. Like the moment when we found out, like it was just so mind blowing. I was in disbelief. What the situation that happened was nothing that I did, nothing that I did that could have prevented it. You know, this happens to a lot of women, actually. Sometimes the baby just don't develop like it's supposed to. And it's OK. They saw the sack. They saw a fetal pole, but the baby just not was not growing. It was no heartbeat, no vitals at all. And, you know, it was a lot for me to process at the moment. But now I'm just thankful for the little things. It's like, I'm thankful for second chances. I'm thankful that I'm back with my doctor. I'm thankful that I have, like I said, I have a team now that's going to be watching me closely and care about me um, and really want the best for me and want this baby to happen. So, and I'm thankful for all y'all too, for all y'all prayers and how excited y'all was, like all the comments and the congratulations and stuff. Like you guys are amazing. Um, and y'all really made my y'all really make me happy and i'm so appreciative of you guys but all is well with me I, i'll take you guys along with me tomorrow um doing the procedure procedures time and all the pre the pre-op stuff and stuff like that but all is well and we're gonna be working on baby number two very very soon so it's like this time because baby lasseter one would have been born in around august something but now baby lasseter two Depending on when it happens, it might be a little Sagittarius baby. Lord, what am I going to do with three Sagittarius? Mama DJ and a baby? Lord, help me. <laughs> help me, Lord, help me. But either way, I'm thankful. But all right, y'all. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, gang. Today is the next day, and I am about to get ready to get in the shower so I can get ready to head to the hospital for surgery. Yep, and I'll see you guys when I get when I get dressed and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So just got the shower, just doing a dress because literally they was like, don't wear no jewelry, don't wear no lotion, no perfume, don't wear nothing. Be don't wear, barely wear clothes if you don't have to. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So it is nine thirty one a.m. I have to be there by ten forty forty a.m. Um, be there by 1040. Surgery starts at 1240. So, I'm waiting for Mama to pick me and Rayshawn up, her and Mr. Charles, and then they'll be dropping us off. So, yeah. <laughs>
you as humble as we know how, Lord God. We ask you, Father God, to guide Dr. Rutherford's hands. In the name, Lord God, let this procedure be successful, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let there be little or no scar tissue, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be little or no scar Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let every step of procedure be successful, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask you for your protection, Lord God. We ask you to be in that room right there, procedure room right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor and the thanks right now. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Martino, walk the door. Mm -hmm. Alright. Sure. You probably have to have the receipt. Y'all need to just come in or Oh no, we're good. Sure? Yep. Love you. Love y'all. Shit, tight. So stupid. I think you're supposed to go to one, huh? I don't know. Let's see when we open the door. to go to the back to get ready for the pre-op part of it and um yeah so i'll see you guys when i get back there all right y'all so i'm in here right. outfit on when i had duke today we had weak men so <sighs> Y'all, one thing I know for sure is that we all going to go through something. That's one thing I know for sure. No matter what the situation may look like, what you think it might should look like, we're all going to go through something. But God is still good and he's still able. That's all I know. I mean, at this point in my life, I have to trust him 100% with no doubt that he has a plan for my life. So... So my vital, my everything was good. My vitals were good. Everything was good. Now we're just waiting to for Rayshawn to come back here. I gotta talk to the anesthesiologist, stuff like that. So and I gotta start my IV. All right, gang. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So they just put the IV in. So that's there. Um, we still got like we have. They said there was one more patient in front of me that they're doing the procedure on. So I'm next. Oh so, yeah. Alright, y'all. So, I'm getting ready to go back in about 30 45 minutes. I'm going to get ready to show my glasses and my phone. So, see you guys on the other side. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Alright, guys. I'm in recovery. Everything went good. Back. I did it. We did it. I just got some cramping going on. My throat is really dry. They just gave me my uh, discharge papers. <sighs> All right, y'all. See y'all a little bit later today because I'm tired. Good morning, y'all. So this is like two weeks later from my surgery. Um, today I have my follow-up appointment. Um, about how everything went, how I'm feeling, um, things like that. So I just got the shower. I just got the shower. I'm about to get dressed. So my appointment is at 10:45, but I gotta have Mama Bree at her infusion appointment at 10 a.m. Right now it's like 8:50. Um, 
So we'll probably leave here about like 9 15, head to take Mama Brita where she gotta go, and then take me to <clears throat> my appointment at 10 45. And then I'll let you guys know how that appointment went. And that's pretty much gonna be the end of this vlog. Like, just you know, the follow up appointment. And then I'm gonna probably tell you guys my whole experience with like the miscarriage stuff because some stuff you just you just wouldn't believe what all women go through. Like, women go through a lot of stuff that people don't really talk about. And I know that sometimes you just be quiet and you just, you know, you healing. But I feel like I need to speak about it because, you know, this might be for somebody else. Another woman might be going through this and she might be terrified. And, you know, she might not have the support system that I have. So her watching my video might inspire and encourage her that she's going to be okay. And it may seem like a lot because it is a lot. It's a lot to process. I mean, a lot to process. Something that you have been waiting for your whole life. And then it's just snatched from you so fast. Um, within a two-month span. So, like I said, this has been a process. But I know that God is still good. I'm thankful for peace. I'm thankful for a praying family and praying subscribers that you guys have been praying for us. Um, but I have some good days and I have some bad days when I think about it. You know, you just be like, dang, like... I mean, really, I was just celebrating in December, and now we're over here like, what the hell is going on? So, again, Father, thank you, God, for peace. Thank you for understanding. You know, God just told me not to be selfish. You know, it's not about me. Um, and I'm going to make it through. I'm going to be fine. And I, But by the time y'all see this video, we're probably pregnant again. Who knows? You know, so it's like, you have to go, th everybody going to go through some things in life. And this is just my story. So... I mean, and I decided to share it with the whole world and just be transparent about every little thing that I go through and just be open about it. So, all right, I'll see you guys when I get to the doctor. All right, y'all, so we're dressed now. Say hey, Mama Bree. Hey, y'all. So everybody get ready to go take her. And got my hair in a little bun. Mama Bree hooked me up like she always do. She the queen of ponytails, <laughs> literally. I got on a little jumpsuit today. With my little boots ain't nothing all right so y'all remember i told y'all we we're gonna leave at 9 15 we're a little behind schedule but ain't too bad it ain't gonna take us long to get there because it shouldn't be no work traffic or nothing like that so look at this y'all why is this coming i'm gonna get my tail back on track because that chin is poking look at it oh my god all right see all right y'all so mama brie about to go to her appointment so me and Miracle on the way to my appointment. And yes, Miracle is out of school today because I don't know why she just go out the door. We are um on the way to my appointment. Miracle's out of school because she has not feeling that great. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to mine. All right, y'all. So now I'm back home. It's like 11 p.m. after my whole day. Um, so my daughter's appointment, she basically was just like, so right now I'm still bleeding from the procedure. So she just checked my cervix. My cervix is closed. So that's a good sign that the bleeding might stop soon. Um, what else she said? She did blood work to see where my hormone levels are. She did blood work to see what my home, my ACG levels are. Uh, with the baby, it was at 35,000. Now, it was like 33. I have it right here on the screen, if I remember. So the hormone levels are going down. So that's good. Pregnancy symptoms have went away. So that's that. So the next plan is to go through, you know, what I'm going through now, wait another full cycle so that means that my next cycle we just gonna not do anything to try to get pregnant but the cycle after that that would be the one that we would start back uh, you know doing ovula ovulation testing and getting back on track to baby making so she approved us to get back to baby making after that second after that first cycle so in the second cycle so I'm going to take you guys along on a journey again. This time, I'm going to record a whole lot more of the TTC journey because last time, it, I had, you know, my clips wasn't like consistent. So, I'm going to try to keep a camera in my bathroom so I can just like have it there to record, to remind myself to record like the testing part of the, of the 
ovulation and the um the LH levels. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this vlog, guys. Thank you for rocking with your girl during this whole process. I thank y'all for the prayers. Um <sighs> on to working on baby last year number two. Um God, I trust you. I trust your plan for my life. I trust your plan for me and my marriage. I trust your plan for everything around me. I know that you are the captain of this sea. I know that when you're when it's your yes, it's always the best yes. And I trust you, Lord. And um all will be well. You guys be blessed. And know that I am okay. I am okay. No, every day not going to be easy. Some days I might think about it, but at the end of the day, I will be okay. And I thank y'all for y'all prayers. Me and Rashawn, thank you guys so, so much for the ones who are genuinely concerned, the ones who really felt so happy about this like we did. Like, the, you know, just, yeah, we really appreciate you guys. But, you know, God doesn't, he don't get, he... God don't take away things that we need. He knows what we need. So, me and Rayshawn have decided to trust him no matter what nobody say. And as long as my doctors give me the okay to move forward, it's all as well. So, you guys have a blessed night.